Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery again and today's review is on the Pentel Eraser CF11. Thank you Mr. Legoman. Okay, this is a quite big eraser. Let's take a look at it. Okay, uh, this is a very rare eraser from Pentel. Um, it is has been long been discontinued. I believe mine was probably from uh, sometime, I guess maybe 80s or early 90s. Uh, I bought it on eBay, and even on eBay, it's quite rare to see it. I love the fact that this uh, vintage eraser came all covered. Uh, it was not exposed with a paper, the typical paper sleeve. So this is a uh, full plastic with a cap and the rest of the body and over here a hole where you can push the eraser when it gets too small and you cannot uh, pull it out uh, the barcode is a, a, a sticker and it says CF11 uh, probably came from factory as you can notice this has a very vintage vibe to it you can see the red stripes which came in packaging blister packs back from Pentel um, sometime in the between the 80s and 90s it says Pentel Eraser CF11, su suitable for use on paper, board, and film, and for general purposes. Over here has some lines on the sides for better grip while erasing. And then we have Pentel Japan and a sort of rough area, which is, this is a nice touch to it. I would, I really wanted this eraser to have it just for the simple, I wanted the packaging more than the eraser itself. I really love the fact that uh, back in the past when erasers came with a full uh, case, unlike now, which they have become more cheaper, and also the fact that this Pentel eraser was made in Japan. So uh, this is even more rare because nowadays you just see the, the erasers made usually in uh, Taiwan. So at least uh, from Pentel, uh, I believe they're made in Taiwan now. I don't know if uh, anywhere else, maybe China, but in Japan, not many are not many are made in, in Japan. Uh, I think only the click eraser refills, but the block erasers aren't seem to be made anymore in, in Japan apparently. But I might be wrong again. So this, as you can see, this is a not quite a white, but like a cream color case. This is a vintage new old stock. The cap can be posted here in the back, which is a good thing. It gets shot full. And you can also pull out the eraser. The eraser itself does have a solvent, a, a, a not solvent odor. So yeah, maybe like in a closed space, uh, the eraser might smell quite a lot. Actually, this eraser has the cap and all to keep it protected because of, uh, since it has a solvent. So this eraser for what i also made some research um is not so easy to be found but i noticed that it could be found in certain websites where they use materials for art restoration so for some reason this eraser is probably good or popular for that matter or uh, as an accessory for those kind of uh, uh jobs so and this one was a uh, there are two versions to this eraser or as far as for what I've uh, um, made some research on a vintage Pentel catalog they had this one the CF11 and as it says here it's for paper board and film so it was for many general purposes even for probably drafting as you can see uh, there is a whole black black uh, cased one with a blue tones on the sticker and it was called the top gum and that was a CF30 model, also from Pentel. But that one is even more rare. I've only seen it on photos, never seen it in real. But as you can notice, this one has also this eraser. Besides the odd uh, solvent odor, it's more cream color compared to the high polymer uh, eraser from Pentel. So, oh, and now that I'm talking on erasers, let me get out a uh, high polymer eraser to compare this one to that let's compare the nowadays popular to this vintage beauty I'll just hold on a sec 
Let's see. Okay, also grab the click eraser for comparison reasons. Okay, got it. Sorry for the long pause. So, back to our Pentel. Okay, so we have here our vintage BB. Oh, my bad. Then we have the current Click Eraser, made in Japan. And, well, this is a plastic holder, limited edition that I got when I bought one of their uh, pencils. And here is the other popular version, made in Taiwan. The highly popular CEH10 High Polymer Eraser High quality plastic eraser as you can see Brand new Let me open it For our purposes I couldn't find my already used one But uh, I don't mind using this one again I'm opening a new one So uh, Here it is Okay Okay, brand new, as you can see, freshly out from the package. I'll put it on its nice sleeve. Or else I could just get off the sleeve with me and my mess. Okay, so if we compare the size, the high polymer is much bigger and thicker, as you can see. More white, plastic. This one again has solvent holder to it. More narrower. So if I wanted to fit this one, I might have a hard time. Let me see. Yeah, it's too thick. I'll need to cut it in the size of this one so as to be able to fit it in. Yeah, it's even a bit longer as you can notice. So it has a very distinctive size, this one, so get it back to its case, okay. And then we have the classic click eraser, it's also more whiter than the cream color of the CF11. Okay, so how well does this eraser erase? I brought here a test sheet for erasing. We have uh, various quality and budget pencils. We have a Mitsubishi 2B grade pencil. 
the classic Dixon Ticonderoga. This is one of the Mexican made. Then we have the Stedler Tradition 5B, a quite darker gray, quality German pencil. We have, this is an oddity, a Viking HB made in Denmark pencil. And a Faber-Castell Art Pencil 9000 in an 8B gray. So let's see. We have here our writing to make a test. So let's first give it a look with the star of this review, the CF11. I've already tried a little bit this. This does leave some odor, again, since it has some solvent. Let's give it a try for erasing purposes. Well, it does leave some mark on a 2B Mitsubishi pencil. Yeah, it does leave some shadows, not that clean. Take a look with the Stedler. Let me clean this a bit. Okay, now let's try Stedler. Still some shadows you can see and some smearing. Not quite good on so far a 2B and a 5B. Let's take a look with smaller grades. Lower grades, sorry, I meant to say. Viking. Well, it does raise a little bit better in HB, but still some some shallow to it. Now let's see the iconic Ticonderoga, typical school pencil. Okay, it's clean. Now let's give it a try. Let's see how it raises. It also raises pretty good an HP, more milder shadow, there's more marks from the graphite or where I press with the pencil, but lesser than the Viking I could say. And the last one, the, H the HP, let's take a look at the HP. Not quite good, it's also not so good on artist quality graphite as you can see so this is probably an eraser for more specific maybe like a film or other media this is regular copy paper pencil but as you can see 2b did leave some uh, shadow 5b as well hb lesser ticonderoga hb much less and on a Castell 9008B, it's still also very quite dirty. Now let's take a look at the widely popular high polymer and high quality plastic eraser. Let's see. Well, it seems like on a quality pencil like a Mitsubishi, there is some quite minor, as you can compare here, minor shadow. This looks more smeared from the original CF11. Let's take a look at the Stedler. Well, also minor shadow. The CF11 left more smearing, smeared the graphite, the high polymer lesser. Let's take a look at the Viking Danish pencil. Okay. Lesser shadow, but still some press marks. But I guess, again, this eraser is probably more for an HB eraser pencil. Now let's see Ticonderoga. If on the Roga, as you can see, we just see more pressing shadow, but no shadow. So it works pretty good on regular budget school pencils. Now the last, last test here with the high quality 9000 8B. Nope. Looks like this eraser is not that strong for an 8B. 
graphite so I will say this is for minor uh, minor maybe uh, I'll say a mechanical pencil lead rather than a pencil and this is supposed to be a really high quality eraser but <coughs> to be honest I think I'll, I'll keep saying it and I'll say it again my favorite erasers and the best ones that I recommend are the Edding uh, German made eraser and the Faber Castell dust free and the dust free because it makes less less uh, less dust like this one this one does make dusty it's not dust free so this is we could say this is an even older technology but oh well and last on our test the Japanese made click eraser Let's take a look. Our Mitsubishi. Let's see. To be. No, it's still shadowy as you can see. So it's way too much for it. Let's take a look to the Stellar 5B. Also very messy. Too much dust. In this eraser. You can see here still some shadow as you can appreciate. Now let's take a look at the Viking Danish Viking HP pencil. Hmm. Well, much lesser as you can see. Lesser considering it's an HP compared to the 5B and the 2B. Now that the Condoroga. Take a look for the controller. Okay, the controller is fairly clean. And then last, the 8B from Faber Castell, around 9,000 artist grade pencils. Nope way too strong too much graphite for this eraser so we do have a no noticeable shadow to it so I'll say this Japanese made click eraser will work better for HPs basically even a 2B from a Japanese quality pencil maker like Mitsubishi is too strong and we could say also for German Stedler or Faber Castell so we'll say that uh, Basically a click eraser and the high polymer you should stick to them for basic pencil or uh, mechanical pencils and this this little baby this old vintage baby well I'll be using it just for mechanical pencils and uh, an HB usually great so I'll say just for those mild grades if someone knows or could tell me what for what purposes do you use this? It's maybe for some plastic film. If you're still one of these all old, old school people who still use uh, film or any other artistic or graphic media, please let me know for what other purposes is this eraser used as it's quite rare and uh, again, it does smell. Uh, hopefully when I finish this one, I'll replace and make a, try to get a high polymer or maybe even sticking a fabric castell. I'll, I'll probably do that blasphemy of using this pencil case for a fabric castell dust free eraser, so it'll be nicely protected and covered. Cause I do like the I do like this cover. Pencils will bring it back. I do like the idea of having the plastic cover for for an eraser. Be it be it and a specific. Uh, for specific media or just regular school pencil, I like the idea of having a covered eraser. And it's such a bad thing that uh, sometime around the 1980s on, uh, many stationery makers stopped uh, having plastic sleeves on their erasers. Um, one of my favorite ones, as I was saying, was the Edding, Edding German eraser. And those still have a plastic blue sleeve, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's only proprietary to their size of their eraser but nonetheless I think that's a nice detail like a nice old-school detail and that's why I appreciate this one 
uh, not only because it's a pentel and it's a very rare and not to find eraser but the fact that you can reuse this lovely cover it's very well designed and it's a nice touch to those of us who appreciate well quality made stationery that you don't find that often nowadays so so this was the review for the CF11 please uh, share any thoughts or comments on this uh, interesting and odd beauty if you uh, if you are an older person who used to use this eraser back on its day please uh, feel free to share any any um, any accounts or any uh, any memories with this eraser or as well as share for what other purposes will this eraser work for thank you for watching this review stay tuned for more bye bye